Hey, it's Derek Jones, and today I'm going to show you how to repair the coupling that goes to the extruder on this XYZ 3-in-1 Pro. Now, those of you that follow my channel know that I'm not a big fan of this machine, and I have spent a lot of time making it work. But those of you that are new to my channel, please consider subscribing because it helps me out. And I'm going to be doing a lot more videos on the XYZ and some of the mods we're going to be doing. So... The problem with the XYZ extruder is it uses a really weird system. There is no coupling actually attached to the extruder. Instead, there's a housing that this clicks into and you use a double-sided coupling, a very cheap one, cheaply made, that is zip-tied to the housing that holds the filament, um, <clears throat> the, the PTFE tubing, into the coupling so it doesn't move around, so there's tension. When the tension goes and puts it, it won't slide out. Very poor design, very, very, very bad. Uh, and not to mention that their actual couplings are extremely cheap and just very, very, they're not good, okay? So this one blew apart and uh, I went on their website to replace it. It was $27, $27. So I thought, you know what, I can come up with a better system for less than $27. So I went to uh, the hardware store and I bought some parts and I'll show you what I did right here. Okay, so I found an adapter that will work. And these are basically uh, 1 8 international pipe thread. And what I used was a uh, lamp reducing coupler right there. And that's going to replace that $27 part with a better fitting. It doesn't slip off. So what I found was um, the half inch lock washer fits perfectly around this and is held in place by that. So that'll let my zip tie actually hang on to it. So the mod is very easy. You need your lamp piece, you need your lock washer, and your two uh, uh, filament um, not nipples. So we're gonna just push this on here, and then we'll screw those in. Push in, but not too hard. And then we'll screw this one in on this side. I'm doing this with one hand because we didn't bring my phone stand. So look when it's assembled. So this is the uh, replacement part. There is the housing where the zip tie goes through. And this part is going to sit right in there. It's going to sit right here, and it'll be zip-tied in place. And that washer is to keep the zip-tie from sliding down. So this is a much more rigid system. The only problem that I might have is actually getting the filament to link with the two pieces. I may have to print a spacer, but we're going to give this a try like this first. Oh, no. This extruder, you just pull this up, and this whole piece, you can just pull this out. But you got to disconnect this, which has uh, quick, quick connector settings to all the uh, filament and, or the uh, <coughs> sensors and <coughs> the heater block and whatnot. Okay, I've pushed the hose back down in there. The uh, and it's a the one it comes with is a little bit thinner. You could probably use both, but I just put the original back in on and pushed it down so it's flush. I just thread the other section on like I've done and there's a little bit of play in there but that's okay. All right and then I've just zip tied it in place so that, that it doesn't pull out. So pretty pretty basic. We're testing some filament and it's loading out just fine. So we'll give it a test. So it turned out a perfect print after the repair. Very happy. So you can see that you don't need to pay that $27 to uh, fix your machine. 